Note the disclaimer, and remember that all my Patreon supporters got to see preview images, work in progress shots, and high resolution images of the completed figure. If you wish to join them, even the smallest donation helps. Link is in the description below. Right, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you with the last part of Aiden's Commission. It is the Doctor Who Tales, uh, specifically Tales in the 11th Doctor's outfit, the one portrayed by Matt Smith. <clears throat> so, we of course start with Tomi's classic Tales figure, and surprisingly enough, this figure can be dismantled more than I thought it could. You still can't take the arms and legs out, but you could remove the head making Sonic the odd one out among the classic trio as the only one with a head that can't be removed. Trust me, I tried to take Sonic's head off, and I just started to tear it, because um, I think it's the way that they attach his chin. It's different than the other two figures. That, that That's the only explanation I can come up with. Um, of course, since this is the Pixel Tales, the first thing I had to do was use acetone to wash off the pixel detailing and make the figure easier to paint. Um, now, on the gloves, this uh, left some scarring, so I'd have to repaint the gloves white, but I was able to do it to the head without having um, without messing up the cheek tufts, which is good. Although I did re have, have to repaint the eyes, because, you know, there's just no getting around the fact that the pixel detailing goes outside the sculpted lines. Uh, you know, hey, tell me, paint's inside the lines, huh? Nah, I'm just kidding. This shot looks a little unremarkable, but I'm just showing how I washed off all the pixel detailing off the figure's back and most of the tails. Although, uh, the pixel detailing on the tail tufts was actually left inside the line, so I could just paint up to the borders and leave the whole thing white, so I didn't have to go erasing that detailing. So with all the pixel detailing erased, it was up to the repainting. Um, you already saw the head, here's the gloves and the shoes. Um, half of the glove cuff is painted, uh, the, the outer jacket color to make it look like he has a little bit of his shirt cuff coming out of the jacket. Um, now, I actually didn't use any epoxy in this, um, the suspenders and the red bow tie, because bow ties are cool, are made out of craft foam. I figured since the details are so small, I'd actually be able to make them sharper by cutting them out of foam rather than actually ha trying to sculpt them. Uh, the jacket itself is also made out of craft foam, just like with the uh, with the Tenth Doctor's costume. I I folded down the lapels and glued them down, and um, you know when made the armholes and folded this around the body to make it into the little jacket. Uh, of course, since the sleeves are painted, uh, the jacket's not actually removable. It's glued down on either side to make sure it doesn't shift in place. Um, and he has a sonic screwdriver. This one is the same screwdriver toy that comes from Twilight Sparkle, but painted up in the detailings of the 11th Doctor screwdriver, which, as we all know, had a different design from the 10th and 11th. The 9th and 10th, I mean. And here is the completed 11th Doctor Tails figure. Isn't he just so cute with his little red bow tie and his suspenders and his jacket? Oh, you know, all these things are cute. It's just adorable to see little cartoon animals wearing clothes that people wear. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I, I Maybe that sounds a little bit condescending, but it seems especially true in this case because it's Tails. Tails is so adorable. And seeing him dressed up in the big boy doctor clothes, it's just it's just so cute. It's like, it's like you're watching your little kid going out for trick-or-treating and they're wearing this awesome costume. So, with that, the, um, the Sonic Team Doctor Trio is complete! Yes, we have three regenerations of the Doctor, with uh, their Sonic screwdrivers and their respective costumes. And, uh, yeah, they look, they look fun. This is a fun crossover custom. Alright, so, uh, hopefully you guys like the crossover as much as I did. Hopefully Aiden likes them. And uh, hopefully you guys will tune in next time. This is Wake Angel 2001, signing off.